and liftoff, liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 3 nautical miles. So the 25th Space Shuttle mission is now on the way after more delays than NASA cares to count. This morning it looked as though they were not going to be able to get off. 15 seconds, velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Looks like a couple of the uh, solid rocket boosters uh, blew away from the side of the shuttle in an explosion. very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. waiting word they're holding their breath just I'm sure as everyone else is you saw it just a few moments ago about 45 seconds after liftoff a huge fireball in the sky we have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded flight director confirms that we are looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point procedures are in effect um, we will report uh, more as we have information available again to repeat uh, we have a report uh, relayed to, through the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded we are now looking at uh, all the contingency operations and awaiting uh, word from any recovery uh, forces in the downrange field. In what appears to be a major catastrophe in America's space program, Challenger, only seconds after leaving the launch pad, according to NASA, has exploded in midair. No word yet on if there are any survivors. Let's replay the launch here and show you, we'll continue to watch the picture and show you what happened shortly after liftoff. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity, 2,900 feet per second. Altitude, 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 7 nautical miles. Nine miles. This is a live picture now. You can see what appears to be a ship off of the Kennedy Space Center. Just saw a splash in the water. Don't know if that was one of the solid rocket boosters or part of the shuttle. Pieces of debris continuing to fall from the sky. This is 
Transmission Control Houston. We have no additional word at this time. The long-range NASA cameras tracking some object now in the sky trailing a plume of black smoke behind it. Once again fixed. Reports from the flight dynamics officer indicate that the vehicle uh, apparently exploded and that uh, impact uh, in the water at a point approximately 28.64 uh, degrees north, uh, 80.28 uh, degrees west. Just saw another large piece of debris falling. We are awaiting uh, verification from uh, uh, as to the location of the recovery forces in the field to, to see what uh, may be possible at this point. shuttle this morning, Commander Francis Dick Scobie, co-pilot Michael Smith, Judith Bresnick, Ronald McNair, Jeffrey Jarvis, and Christian McAuliffe, and Ellison Azuka. Let's take another look now, just seconds, seconds into the launch. This is before the solid rockets were lit. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, Six. We have main engine start, four, three, two, one, and liftoff, liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Tom, everything looks normal to this point? It's about 20 seconds. Uh, everything looks right normal here. to this point. Uh, it's when the long-range tracking cameras took over, and you could see an extreme close-up as the solid rocket boosters appeared to be breaking away from the shuttle and then explode. It comes up in just a few seconds here. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. It occurred at 9 miles into the mission downrange. Engines throttling up. Three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. There. You can see right before the explosion at the external tank where it attaches to the shuttle, a flame appeared to break out between the external tank and the shuttle. Tom, this has never happened before. Uh, I know you are aware that there are contingency plans for such, such an event. Uh, because it's never happened before, I think possibly many people even involved are, are not aware of what they are. Do they have ships standing by? There are recovery ships standing by, and they do go through uh, procedures for launch aborts. Uh, there is worst case scenario. Let's go now to the let's go now to the live picture. What kind of parachutes uh, do they have, Tom? How many do they have? How much can they hold? Do you have any information? They're 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 not wearing parachutes per se in the. This is Cockpit, the, there are no ejection seats. We are coordinating with recovery forces in the field. Originally in the program, they had ejection seats. Range safety uh, equipment, uh, recovery vehicles uh, intended for the recovery of the SRB in the general area. We don't know what's attached to that parachute. We can't tell from, from Those parachutes that camera are believed angle. It's to be too far away. Paramedics going into that area. It appeared, Tom, that uh, just as they gave a command to Challenger, to the crew, to, uh, uh, for thrust, to repeat, right, that, to that, was up what, the that, that that was what triggered the Apparently explosion. Apparently normal ascent with the data coming to all positions being normal up through approximately the time of uh, main engine uh, throttle back up to 104%. Yeah, yeah. What do you, what do you know? 
that we're looking at approximately a minute or so into the, the new launch uh, pad there was, uh, an 39 explosion at the Kennedy Space Center the uh, flight dynamics officer reported that tracking reported that the vehicle had exploded and impacted the water 